Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to use the television uh, program from Chapter 2 to talk about the two-string method and how you can use two-string, which is a, uh, an AP-tested method, uh, to display information. So in the television program, we have the television class, which is pretty simple. It just basically says if a television is on or off. Um, and the television driver, we have um, an array of televisions. Uh, three of them and we go through an array here and um, I for each element in the array I create a new television I s turn it off or set it is on to false uh, and I print out what if it's open or not and what its status is so I print out television zero is on or off and then I just add a new line or an extra line here at the end one thing that I'm seeing in some programs is the use of a number here so that's breaking the second commandment this should be t dot length so that if I change this 3 to 5 or 10 or something, then the loop will adjust automatically. We don't want to have to adjust this every single time we change that. So let's run the program. Seems simple enough. Uh, create television, set them to false, and print out what uh, the televisions are. So I'll compile this and run it. And it says the TV store opens and the TV status is, and it says television zero is on and it prints out this word thing, television at stuff, which is completely uh, not what I expected. So let's go back and take a look at what that is. On, in this line of code here, I say television so-and-so, so 0, 1, 2, is on. And I print this thing right here. It says t.index. So I go to the 0 thing, and I print a television. So I was trying to print a television. So in that uh, line of code, printing a television, what the computer did was it said, okay, I'm going to try to print a television. But what does printing a television mean? This actually means I have a television at, this is an address. This is actually a hexadecimal number. It's, an, it's a memory address of where the, the television is located, which is nice, but that's not what I want. If I want to print out what's at a certain location or just print out an object, I go back into the class television and I can write a method here called to string which looks something like this public string to string basically I'm going to turn the television into a string and I get to do that however I like so specifically to string make sure we comment our methods um, I'm going to return a string I'm going to build a string I'm going to say return and I can write something as simple as hello. So let's just try that first. Okay, just see what it does. So I can return a string. Okay, that's not what I'm going to probably end up with, but just to test here, let's see what happens. Compile and run. So printing a television or turning a television into a string means right now means hello. Okay, so that's what it does. That's how the, it works. What I want to do, let's see, when I want to print out a television, what would I want to say? I want to say return this television is this television is and then I'll print out the value of is on and I can make this as complex or as nice and neat as I like but I can basically the thought is I can build a string I can build a string and return that string. So if I compile and go back in here and run this line of this sentence right here, this television is false, that's what I'm printing. So I can define or write the code in for two string however I want to um, uh, whatever I want to print out. So that's the two string method, which you can use for any object. So here's a television class that I can create a two string for. I think there's a homework problem with teachers. You can define a two string, so just make a string or whoever you like. And uh, I can simply use it in, I'll demonstrate one other thing you can do. I can just say system dot out dot print line t index. And 
however defined two string, it would just print that uh, line of code out. So that's a demonstration of the two string method uh, when used with the television uh, program.